In the previous videos of procurement management, we learned about contract and contract process. We also learned about different types of contract. In this lecture, we will learn what the different bid documents are and some terms used in bidding such as statement of work, bidder conference and letter of intent etc. So first of all, what are the bid documents? Bid documents are used to specify the buyer needs to the seller. There are basically four types of bid documents. Request for information, request for quotation, request for proposal and invitation for the bid. Request for information. These are used to identify which sellers or vendors are able to meet the expectations of the buyer. It checks the capabilities of the seller. These documents are basically used in the new projects when the sellers in the market are not identified. Now one thing of prime concern is uh, this document can be used just for getting the information not to sell or buy. We have second type of a bid document request for quotation. This can be used to request a seller price quote per item, service, meters or any units of the measurement. It focuses only on the price and not on the information like the request for proposal. Request for proposal. Here the buyer asks the seller for in detail knowledge on how the problem of the buyer can the seller solve. There are many things that are included uh, as this is a detailed document. We could have information on what deliverable is provided, price of the product or service. We can have information on the procedure, how the product or service is prepared and handled. We could ask information about the seller's quality certificates or work experiences, etc. We have another document, invitation for bid or request for bid. This is the request for total price to do the work. Several sellers are sent the request for quotation or bid and the best is selected. The letter of intent, what is the letter of intent? It is the letter or notice in informing the seller that the company wants to purchase the product or service uh, from the seller. This is not the formal contract but it gives time for the seller to prepare for making purchase related activities and that is needed in preparing, buying and transporting etc. Let's learn about the another term beta conference. It is all about making a meeting or conference where every sellers are made sure of the requirements of the buyer and the contract type. This is for making sure that all the sellers have same information about the service or product being sourced for or being asked by the buyer. So what is the advantage of the beta conference? The benefit to the seller is same information is provided to all the sellers. Uh, the seller can ask questions to the buyers. The written document of the questions and answers in the conference is provided to all the sellers. The advantage to the buyer is the buyer can know if something is missed. So it could be good if uh, the buyer is making a good statement of work and the buyer can make sure that the seller has enough knowledge of the need of the buyer. So after the bid documents are made and uh, are provided to the seller, the seller works on them and provides the buyer the seller proposal bid or price code. These are the document made by the seller or say these are the offer made by the seller. This is in response to the invitation of the proposal or invitation to the bid. We have another term procurement statement of work. This simply means the scope of purchasing, what we are interested in buying and why. It must be clear, complete and concise. So 3C is required for making a procurement statement of work. It must match the project scope also. So what are the things that the procurement statement of work must contain? It may contain things like acceptance criteria for service or product to be procured, technical information, for example drawings and all the information gathered in meeting and the past reports. Procurement statement of work is very important in the fixed price contract uh, while making the fixed price contract and it should be well defined because inadequate information in the statement of work may cause a seller asking a higher bid at contract to cover the risk of loss and it could be seller if the buyer is new and has no information about the scope of the contract. If the statement of work doesn't contain enough information about the scope the seller may pose future problems about the need of other resources to be bought from the seller. There are different types of statement of work. Uh, 
it could be performance statement of work which talks about what final work should be accomplished functional statement of work which talks about the end result and the design statement of work which talks about the procedure design and the material use question we are required to build a bottle sealing machine with the drawings and requirements as stated are given so what kind of statement of work is this is it a performance statement of work functional statement of work or it is the design statement of work please answer with your comments you can download the flowchart and situational contract selection check sheets through the link in the description this could be helpful especially for students preparing for project management examinations in near future all right thank you so much for staying with me so far throughout this lecture